friends leaving work. Worst eight hours of my life. Me. You guys are only working eight hours. Yeah, that boot on your face is something to be real proud of, pal. Boy, oh boy, let me tell you. I'm really sick of this being sick thing. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll either die or, you know what, whatever. Let's see what's being gatekept. Using the sprout emoji as a non-vegan should be illegal. Why? Why? Answer my question. What's the appropriate length of shorts for a man? Grown men should not wear shorts. Okay, I'm gonna go wear shorts now, cause it's really nice outside. And I don't want to die from heat stroke so I don't look gay. To you, at least. Gatekeeping life itself. This is not life. This is life. Cool. Cool. Uh, can you give me some money so that I can go live that life? No, I'm still stuck being homeless in the one on top. Can you help? Can you- Oh, just don't be poor. Anyone who met the love of their life before they turned 25 is not allowed to talk to me about dating. Having to do this with a fully formed frontal lobe is something you'll never understand. Doesn't it technically stop developing at 26? Didn't we find that out relatively recently, or have we always known that? And, dude, you don't talk like you have a fully developed anything, especially understanding of relationships. Mini Cooper owner knows what it takes to be a real man. Real men use three pedals. Okay, I, I use two, and my car still works. That's crazy. But you're totally right. I must just be a little gay boy because I'd like my car to be easier. I'm not a sports guy. I really don't give a crap. Bristol's Gatekeepers. Oh, 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 I see, literally. Which apps you can text on? Using Snapchat as your main form of communication with your significant other is so odd to me. Like, grow up, you're not in middle school relationships anymore. Mature, please. Honey, you're using TikTok. So sorry about that one, sweetie. It's funny, because I actually use Snapchat as my primary method of communication, period, right now. I think that the company is ruining the app completely and utterly, and it's quite embarrassing and crappy, but I don't like texting anymore. I don't like typing. I'm constantly making spelling mistakes and screwing up and looking like a dipsh**, and I'm tired of it, okay? No, autocorrect does not help. It usually makes the problem worse. But with Snapchat, I get to just talk to you. I get to actually say what I'm trying to say. Much easier, dude. So much easier. So yeah, a little rich coming from someone who's probably chronically on TikTok telling me that I need to grow up because of Snapchat. Nature is clear. Women ought to have long hair and men short. Long hair on a woman is her glory. Long hair on a man is a disgrace. Eric, you seem like a salty bitch. Is it because your hair is thinning out and you can't make it long anymore? Or is it that you look stupid with long hair, but all your friends look really good? How dare you ask a sub that helps identify cars to help identify a car? Only people who already know what all cars are are welcome here. What? For the life of me could not figure out what this car is. Is that a skyline? You have no business on this sub if you don't know what the hell that is. Why would you even care what any vehicle was if you couldn't identify the most famous vehicle ever? I mean, I think it's a Skyline? I don't know. An imported Japanese sports car? But I, I don't know. Gotta admit, though, when I hear adults complaining about the cost of milk, I find myself wondering what you as an adult are doing buying cow milk in the first place. You gonna drink it with dinosaur-shaped chicken nuggets and a bag of gummy worms? Grow up. Or we could, you know, mind our own business. Gatekeeping who can drink milk is weird and just as bad as people who are upset over plant-based milk. I mean, I don't know why the guy up top thought he had a mic drop moment. Hell yeah, I'm gonna drink my milk with my nuggies and gummy worms. Kiss my ass. You see, that's the best part about being an adult. I get to live my life, and you can suck my balls. Actual mothers trying to enjoy Mother's Day. Women with dogs. Who cares, dude? Quit being a baby. Who cares? What if those women with dogs couldn't have a baby of their own? Why don't you chill the hell out? NBA fan gatekeeping. Nuggets fans are fake as hell. I'm in Colorado and have gone to every Celtics Nuggets game at Ball Arena for the past seven years. Crowd used to be over 60% Celtics fans. Now that Denver's good, the fans magically appear and act like they care. This year's game was about 90% Nuggets fans. I've seen a couple of Nuggets games. What do you mean when they got good or now that they're good? They were good before. I've watched them win. What's the big deal here? It's bullshit that retirement homes have a minimum age. Being old and feeble is a mindset. Let me in. I get the joke. I don't believe for one second this is a unironic tweet, by the way, at all. 
and I think it's funny. How it should be done. One from Fackybook. How kids mod their cars. How adults mod their cars. How it should be done. Man, you just mad all the driftable cars over there are way cooler than your stupid muscle ones. Also, come on, muscle cars. I've always loved that term. Don't you, muscle cars? You want to have a hobby where you do something really cool and nifty with your vehicle, but you gotta make it as masculine as possible. Let's call it muscle. Gatekeeping drinking water. Ayo, hey, I don't know who's updating the list of crap men can't do, but can someone add drinking from a bubbler? Cause, what the heck, is that a grown man? Where's your water bottle? Why is your mouth open and that close to something? People like this project so hard. Yeah, you wish your mouth was open and close to something, buddy. Projecting much? Imagine where we are really quick. It's now gay to drink water. You're not a man if you drink water. Wow. Sorry, but if you say the word literally inside continental, you have five minutes to finish your drink and then you must leave. If you actually start a sentence with, I literally, you must leave immediately. This is the most overused, annoying word in the English language, and we will not tolerate it. Stop Kardashianism now. Yeah, but what if I literally mean the word literally when I use it? Just because people misuse it doesn't mean I'm planning on misusing it. God, I literally cannot stand people like this. Gatekeeping pain? Oh, dude, yeah, people do that like it's a goddamn hobby, man. POV, you're on your peer. Oh, God, here we go. Here we go. Are you people still afraid of physical pain? I blocked that feeling a long time ago. No, you didn't. Now I can only feel mental pain, okay? Grow up! World is not for people who are still afraid of physical pain. They will only use you till you get used to it. And it a lot painful than periods. How much you want to bet this person has no idea what period pain is even remotely like. I have never met a single person who experiences periods who has had anything less than, oh my god, I want to die. In terms of their 1 to 10 pain scale, it's usually blown past 10 and they want to die. That's all I ever hear. All right, quit downplaying this crap. I'll kick you in the balls. Average people hobbies, television, party, gaming, job, rich people hobbies, gym, knowledge, invest in mentors. I don't, did I say business? It's kind of hard to see through there, but no, my job is not a hobby. My job is my job. It is my trade. It is my profession. Also, I don't know anybody that would call partying their hobby, except for maybe Pinkie Pie, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. She's not real. A message for women who don't shave their underarms. It's not sexy. It's not empowering. It's nasty. Stop trying to be a man. You're not one. And if you have hairy pits, you're never gonna land one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's really stupid and all, but the one thing I'm hung up on here because the tweet is bullcrap and not valid in any way, is that her name is Jedediah. I, at least I would assume she's a she. I have to make the assumption in this particular case because I know nothing else, but I didn't know Jedediah could be a woman's name. I've never seen that before. It does make me curious. Anyway, uh, let's keep going. I'm only here for the plants, duh. Hello, do you actually have a hoarder culture? Hort, hoard it. Wow. Horticulture, not horticulture. <laughs> a horticulture job or hold a horticulturist degree? Or do you just think buying plants makes you one? I do have a degree. Thanks for asking. Ooh, I like all the likes on that comment like it's valid to ask. Because it's not, by the way. You're on Instagram. Quit acting like you're the police. The Instagram police, if you will. No one cares about your opinion or your dip questions. You didn't slam dunk on anybody. You didn't mic drop today. Someone just likes plants. Quit being a baby back. Gatekeeping what is or isn't poetry. In my opinion, erasure poetry is not poetry in any way. And to destroy someone else's writing or, God forbid, poem, and then call the leftover words a new poem is pure philistinism? Philistinism? Anyway, fight me. I don't know what any of that meant. I don't know what erasure poetry is. I don't get what you're talking about. Poetry's very open-ended. Hell, this stupid tweet could be a poem. Quit being a baby. Why is, why is everybody such a baby? Under a post of a parent looking for Pokemon game recommendations for their kid. Only 90s kids can enjoy Pokemon, apparently. Only 90s kids get to enjoy it. Dude, you were probably born in 1997. You're not a 90s kid. You're not. 
You were just born then, okay? Hello, everyone. I still really love these styles from around 2012 or 2014. I think? Poser. Just clarifying, but are you insulting the original poster? No, not at all. But real punks don't buy pre-ripped jeans or have a Pinterest board of punk-inspired outfits. Only posers do that. But I'm also old, so... I don't know! Calling someone a poser because they don't meet some arbitrary standard is pretty insulting. People are allowed to like some parts of a culture without committing to all of it. Yeah, I don't know, punks have always been pretty gatekeepy. Look, watch the movie SLC Punk, Salt Lake City Punk. Uh, it's a very, very wild experience, but it stars Matthew Lillard. That feels very punky, right? They're always gatekeepy. That's like the whole thing. Any of the, the niches out there, goths, emo, scene, punk, metalheads, they're all incredibly gatekeepy. And if you don't think that your niche is, I'm sorry, you're wrong. That's right, guys. Apparently, you're a raging homosexual if you put on a seatbelt before driving. Imagine not getting ejected out of your car after getting into a crash and dying. Oh my god, that image is small. Hold on. If you're a grown man and wear a seatbelt in the passenger seat, you are like to be a raging homosexual. Damn straight. I mean, yeah, call me super gay, because I'm gonna be frickin' safe. Also, come on, you can't go around calling people raging homosexuals when your profile photo is a shirtless what I can only assume, picture of you. I stopped reading when they started their sentence with real victims. Oh boy. Real victims know we don't forget the facts surrounding what happened to us, ever. I agree. Real victims also have more than accusations of a crime, especially when there's a history of narrative that is never taken to criminal court. Excuse me? Migraine, pain, and remedies. Oh boy, this is gonna be bad. Exactly what I came here to say. It pushes a button in me that elicits the comeback of, if you're anywhere but a darkened room with a trash can, then you have a different headache than a migraine. It cost me friends, but I can't help it. I haven't had one in a while, and never had as many as my mother, but one would have been enough. And these people who claim they stopped on migraine with Dr. Pepper and one Excedrin? Ridiculous, as anyone who's ever suffered through a migraine knows. God, I'm so tired of people. They're all so awful. And this is coming from me. I'm a whiny baby all the time here. You're not a true Torontonian until you've tried eight of these 12 downtown restaurants. I mean, you're right. I'm not a true Torontonian. Torontonian? It's, it's a weird word, you know? Strange. Real New Yorkers ride yellow. Well, thank goodness. I'm not a real New Yorker, so I don't give a crap. I will not be getting into your scam mobile. Imagine gatekeeping a mental illness to a political side. I don't know who needs to hear this, but in order to be autistic, you can't be conservative or right-wing. Oh, there's a lot of mofos that would absolutely disprove this. Elon Musk is not autistic, okay? Same with Palmer, Lucky, Zuck, and the Tech Bros. 4chan users are not autistic. Autism is inherently left-wing and anti-fascist. You're just saying sh Shut up. Take this tweet and shove it up your nose. Jeez. Imagine taking something that is a spectrum and absolutely defining who can and who can't have it, or be on it, rather, to be more accurate. Roadrunner is pretty universally well-known. And so it begins, only the very best generations will get this. Do you think they don't show any cartoons anymore on TV? Do you genuinely think that the Roadrunner cartoons were, like, deleted? at a certain point, although that is getting more likely by the day, do you think that absolutely no one under the age of like 50 is gonna be able to tell what this is? You're old, not special. Rural towns in the US, rural towns in the UK. It's not rural if it's 30 minutes drive to the capital. You need to drive two hours to get groceries in the rural towns. In Europe, you go across the border in one. What does that even mean, dude? Please leave uh, Ruby alone and stick with hentai? I feel like that's what you want, and Ruby will never be that. I have no idea what that show is, I don't care, but, oh yeah, the anime fans, woo, buddy, are they a gatekeepy bunch. Hardly surprising after Speaker McCarthy canceled yada yada yada, vent in the house, Bernie Sanders comes to the rescue and hosts her in the Senate. How fun. Bernie Sanders is approximately as Jewish as a ham sandwich topped with shrimp on lard bread. I am beyond flabbergasted at your... Your target here, 
You little cretin. Uh, wow, that's just really sad. You know nothing about Bernie, apparently. But who's really surprised by that? People who claim to be Lana Del Rey fans, but only listen to her famous songs, have no idea the meaning of the word. You understand her when you hear her less popular songs. She's amazing, and one of the only singers who's keeping it real. You know, I knew a girl in high school who loved, uh, is it MGMT, the band, or... Is it supposed to be management? I have no idea. I don't give a crap. And of course, I love their popular songs, even though I've heard that they think fans that like those songs are stupid. But this girl, whoo! If you told her that you liked any of their popular songs, she would straight up verbally abuse you. No joke. She would call you all the names in the book. You know, a loser, a dumbass. You don't know anything. Those songs actually suck. You gotta listen to the rest. It's actually crazy how much gatekeeping is just out there in general in every fandom. A man shouldn't wear these shirts. What do you mean? A tank top? Uh, yeah, that, that, really? That's it? We wore mini skirts, bell bottoms, and tank tops, drove muscle cars, listened to the best bands ever, and there has never been a generation cooler since. Guys, you have got to let it the f go. You were the worst generation. I'm talking about boomers here, because I know for a fact Gen X did not drive muscle cars, wear bell bottoms, and listen to the best bands ever. Okay, to be fair, Gen X got some sick-ass music. Every generation does, deal with it. But, nah, this is, this is some boomer Gatekeeping jars. Huh? An international coffee giant says a smaller Australian competitor has copied its iconic glass jar and has opened legal proceedings. The experts say the case may not be open and shut for roasting giants. What? Oh, for roast, I see. Man, it's really hard to get stuff across in text sometimes. Yeah, nice try. It is a jar. It, these do not look the same. They are jars. Those evil socialists participating in capitalism exclusive. Self-declared socialist AOC splurges on high dollar hairdo. Sad to see democratic socialists like Bernie and AOC do things like buy winter coats and get haircuts. Don't they know that real socialists avoid purchasing goods and services? Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't they realize? Gatekeeping calling yourself something pertaining to a hobby. None of these when you are true, with exception to the veteran, because it is a different situation from the other examples. Hobbies become a part of your identity when you dedicate time to improve and perfect the hobby. Let's take your first example, since it has the highest frequency of repetition. Running. Once a week does not make you a runner. It makes you someone who runs once a week. To be considered a runner, you'd have to have specific goals and a dedication to the art with intent to improve through practice and repetition. Doing something occasionally doesn't make it part of your identity. I occasionally bake, but would never refer to myself as a baker. I say, I occasionally like to bake. Bro, you are sad. You're making me sad. Who cares? Who cares? Apparently not spending enough negates the time and effort to paint an army. It's the gate which must be held. I've gone to Horus Heresy events and just simply not played against people who bring printed units or printed Primarchs. It's a real middle finger to those of us who put in the time, money, and effort into using the real units. When official models become available, I'll be using them and staying away from people who don't. Okay. I won't take a sports car seriously unless it's on California plates. That's the only place in the U.S. with the right climate and culture. A Ferrari with Nebraska tags is not a flex, brah. You're only affording it by living in an area with zero quality of life and no taxes. What? Zero quality of life? You've never lived in California, have you? For the poser wannabe 90s kids. Fake 90s kids starter pack. People born in 1993 plus pretending remember December 31st, 1999. Except someone born in 93 would probably be developing memories around that time, so... Okay. Watch this. Uh, not this. What the hell does this even mean? This is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen, dude. This is weird. Now, funnily enough, I was thinking about my earliest memories. My earliest, most formative memories. I distinctly remember going to see the first Harry Potter movie in theaters. That was 20 plus years ago. I don't like remembering things from that long ago. It's making me feel old. I don't like being able to go, oh yeah, that was 20 years ago. Stop it. Real Californians don't say Cali. Depends on where you live. Cali influencers still tan. Midwest to East, they don't. Nope, the sun is just way brighter here. It's April and the UV is seven to 10 this week. 
Oh, the index, excuse me. Everyone wears sunscreen, except maybe old straight men. Also, no one from California says Cali. It's a borderline disgusting shortening of California. Most people here wear sunglasses to avoid aging due to skin damage. Yeah, the sunglasses really protect a lot of your skin. A lot of us have had plastic surgery and those lines fade away with religious sunscreen use. Basically, you're getting somewhat of a tan just by living here in the spring, summer, or fall. <laughs> Man, hold on a second here. Cause I'm out in Colorado, as you guys know. The UV index right now is seven. Yesterday, it was nine. But no, only California has a high UV index. Broken Hearts finds a girl who watches anime, has only watched Death Note, dub, Oh, right, because dubs are apparently just incredibly inferior and stupid, and you're a loser if you listen to them. <laughs> it's pretty great. It's pretty great that as a professional voice actor, how many fans of animated shows out there literally, completely, and strictly look down on us. We are inferior to the originals somehow. I understand having a preference. I do. Sometimes I prefer the dub, sometimes I prefer the sub, okay? But I'm really, really sick and tired of fans who are like, oh, if you watch the dub, you're actually stupid. Like, you're legitimately dumb and clearly can't read. And hey, us American or Canadian voice actors doing the dub, completely talentless pieces of shit, really. That's what you make people feel like, honestly. You're sad, and I would never associate with someone who's this weird about anime, dude! God, daring to be afraid did you say a taint needle? A tiny needle in your taint is scary? Man, wait until you find out what women deal with on the regular. What? As soon as you turn on the stove, it's not a depression meal anymore. If you have enough energy to turn on the stove and cook a full meal with seasoning, then you're not depressed. What? The hell are you people talking about? Imagine gatekeeping? Depression. Trying to make yourself feel superior in such a pathetic way. You're not really depressed. I'm depressed. You're not. Vegans, vegetarians, shut the f up. Marjorie Taylor Greene says that adopted or parents through marriage are, oh, I see what she's saying, or parents through marriage aren't real parents because they're not biological. She just told a witness who was a mother through marriage that she's not a mother. Well, remember, everything that comes out of that stupid psycho's mouth is complete bullshit. She is insane. I literally think that she is actually psychotic and broke years ago. So don't take anything she says seriously because she's f***ing crazy. Apparently you need to enjoy every F1 race ever to be an F1 fan. Absolutely, dude. Anyone who says this race was boring is clearly never going to enjoy F1 in the long term. Was it a classic? No. Was it fine? Yes. There was a strategy battle for the lead and overtakes up and down the field throughout. If that's not enough for you, this is the wrong sport. If you need safety cars and red flags to keep your attention, give up. Then and now, what happened? I don't know. They were different stories. Literally, they're just different stories, but you're stupid as hell. I'm entirely convinced only 5% of the followers of this sub really have thalassophobia. Woo, okay. For those of us actually experiencing it, a response of screw you, OP, should in fact be the kind of response you're aiming for and be mission accomplished. Dare I say, it should be your measuring stick by which you're following the rules of the sub. Secondly, if you find the above statement offensive, then you obviously don't actually have the lassophobia. And this is all just some weird photo obsession you have. Bro, the lassophobia is not actually a community of people trying to scare the shit out of themselves or each other. I, I've been there for years. Can you imagine how boring that sub would be if it was literally just a bunch of people going, Oh, screw you, OP, I just shat my pants. Dude, that would suck. Shut up. I didn't recognize the song until I heard Bye Bye. Then the nostalgia almost gave me a seizure. If you didn't recognize it till then, it wasn't nostalgia. Right! My memories and associations are supposed to work exactly like yours. Because we're all the same person. With the same brains and personalities and genetic structure, we're all identical. Right! I forgot about that. Gatekeeping graffiti. Really? Don't think because you... Hold on, I gotta zoom in on this one. Don't think because you mugs graf... Gr what does that thing say? That it mean you live this, you are just acting. I love graffiti art, but you genuinely need to learn how to write English. I hate it when people have good lives, but are still saying they're depressed. They'll say, I earn 200k a year at a job I like, and if it wasn't for my boyfriend or girlfriend, mom and dad, all my family and friends, I would have ended it. Please, give me any one of those and I'll live to be a hundred. I get what people are saying. Oh no, the poor, rich, successful person. But come on. 
Quit saying that people aren't allowed to be depressed because they're successful and probably comfortable. Comfort can also breed depression. That's what I've got. You're not a gamer if you don't post about it. Oh, God. I have no idea how much PvE meant to the Overwatch community. Having solid multiplayer and single-player content's always been a staple of Blizzard games like Warcraft, Starcraft, Diablo, and then these profiteering suckers come in and chop everything up into bite-sized pieces. Yeah, I agree. Blizzard is terrible, and Overwatch 2 is probably one of the biggest embarrassments I've ever seen in gaming. I'm not kidding. I've seen a lot in gaming. I love this franchise. I've loved almost every Blizzard IP. Sure you do! You post on Reddit very frequently about anything and everything. Yet in five years on here, you referred to Diablo exactly once before this thread. Right. If you're not chronically on Reddit, you're lying. Totally given up on life? Then why not let the world know by wearing gray tracksuit bottoms? This doesn't feel gatekeepy, this just feels like a stupid joke. Not a true Giants fan. I can't remember the last time I saw a complete game shutout. Great stuff. Seven years ago, Maddie had a complete game shut out. Must not be a true Giants fan. Ah, oh, kiss my ass, how about that? I would totally watch a video where teens have to use 90s tech for a week and watch their lives melt down into complete chaos as they try to figure out printed map quest directions and hour-long LimeWire downloads to listen to one song. You know, it's funny. I was born in 96. I dealt with all the tech that this person is talking about because crazy thing, grew up poor, couldn't afford any of the newfangled sh**, so I got all the old stuff. I've experienced it all. Didn't have any issue with it whatsoever. I don't think anybody would. In a very tech-literate society, for the most part, because there's a lot of people that refuse to try, because it's not just, oh, I'm old and I don't know. They refuse to try. They're doing it on purpose, because that's not confusing at all. There's nothing wrong with 90s tech. Talk to a 15-year-old right now, hand him a Walkman. Within 30 seconds, they'll know what it is, they'll know what it does, they'll know how to use it, no problem, okay? And MapQuest? Still up. Quit being a bitch. Gatekeeping a YouTuber. You didn't have the true experience if you didn't watch Cubs Scouts. You were never a fan if you didn't watch him play Yan Sim or Yan Sim or whatever. Who cares? God, this stuff is so stupid!